What you doing? I'm your talk retainer, the AC Source, with this alcohol and anime! So, I got a, I guess kind of random, not really random, it makes sense as to why I'm doing this now, but it apparently been out, I should have done it a long time ago, I just don't know how I missed it. it of course, you already know what it is, because you clicked on this, it is Laid Back Camp Movie, or Yuru Camp Movie, or Ega Yuru Khan, Khan, um, yeah, uh, uh, I'm excited for this one. Ooh, uh, there's just so much going on with this one. Uh, but, like I always do, I need to talk about the alcohol first because <laughs> there is a lot of, there is, there is a lot of, it's a big drink. It's definitely my biggest drink if you don't count the time I drank a whole bottle of Jaeger. Uh, uh, Pat, one of my first episodes. But, I had to think, and it's not, I don't know if it's create can be called, ah, I don't know if it can be considered creative or not, but I am so proud of this one, and it turns out to be really good, and uh, volume-wise, it's just so much, uh, but i start with the name. This was my, um, me trying to think of, okay, if I was to go camping in Japan, what would I want to drink? Because... Aside from Laidback Camp, of course, which actually does have some drinking in it, this movie already has plenty of drinking in it, too. Not surprisingly, I was so excited. It was exactly who I thought would drink. Oh, wait. It's all... Oh, also already on the poster. Wow, you can tell this one's going to go. But I, th I think this movie has the most alcohol in it of any of the other movies I've done, surprisingly. But... That made me think, what am I going to drink? I, I've seen, you know, the little bit of drinking that's in this. A little bit. Uh, I've seen, uh, there's another, like, Japanese YouTuber who also just goes around and camps. It's very laid-back camp vibes, but, you know, like adult. And also just drinking. And it's just chill. Uh, that pops up sometimes. I don't know the name of the channel because it just pops up. Uh, and for some reason, I guess I never bothered. I could probably look it up and find it pretty easily. I'm not right now. So, how? what kind of drink can I get that will fit me, fit this mood? And I was like, well, what are they normally drink? A beer sometimes? Big old bottle of sake? Um, I just happen to already have some Japanese whiskey. And I was like, all three. That's what I'm making. So, this is my forever laid back camp drink. Do I have another word? I've been trying to brainstorm. I've been trying to brainstorm this drink idea for so long. And I can't. It was literally right before I started recording. And I was like, wait, this makes the most sense. And now I think I already forgot what it was. What was it? It was it's for it's definitely Forever Laid Back Camp. Not Forever Laid Back Camp. Move. Drink? Drink? Alcohol? Beer? Sake? Forever Laid Back Camp. Yeah, how about leave it at that? My forever laid back camp. Uh, because I, I feel like there was more to it. It was a long name, of course, uh, probably too long. So what it is, I already told you. It's I got three basic, not basic, like but commonly seen in anime at least drinks, uh, which is beer, sake, and less so. Um, Japanese whiskey, but I already have it, uh, so I went ahead and just grabbed, or added it, because it kind of makes sense to me, because out drinking would be a time I would do whiskey a lot too, but yeah, so it's these three mixed together. So I got a big ass beer mug that I already had, not even the biggest one I have, oh it could have been, but it was enough to hold pretty much a bottle of beer. Which, for this, I'm using Sapporo, just the basic Sapporo you see, the premium beer. Half a bottle of sake, uh, which a bottle I have is 720 milliliters, so I'm pretty sure the math on that is 360 milliliters. Uh, and this sake is one I've never tried before, so that's nice for me. Uh, Hakusuru uh, sake? I don't know, I tried to make sure it was imported and not one brewed in the U.S., and this one... 
says it is important. Make sure it's actually like from Japan. Yeah, because I mean, there's like decent enough sakes. Japanese brands are still brewed in the U.S., but whatever. And then a shot, maybe a little bit more than a shot of Japanese whiskey, which I already have, is the Toki Suntory whiskey. Um, it's like 43%. It's a little stronger. I already had this because of the bartender anime, which if you haven't seen, I made almost half the season of the bartender show. I'll make a cocktail from that. So this is leftover from that. A lot leftover. I got a whole bottle of it and barely used it. And so yeah, a little bit more of a shot. Mix those all together. Big ass mug. Uh, it's so good. I, I am so surprised and proud of myself at how well this turned out because you can kind of get a taste of all of them but they also mix together but it also it shouldn't be a surprise really right should, like i don't want to say them all being made in the same country should make it better but maybe it helps maybe it, that is what did it but i'm so proud of it and this is a two-hour movie i drank the whole thing to our movie and had to make me another one. Whew, it, it's a lot. Uh, and if you want to see it, I'll post a picture of it on Instagram. It looks just like a giant mug of beer. It just looks like the beer. Because, I mean, about half of it is. But it works out. Uh, you, you see, I try to, like, pose it a little bit. So you can check out that on, I'll post on Instagram. Maybe other socials, who knows where I'll put it. Um, the AC Stories on that. Instagram, the underscore AC underscore stories. Uh, of course, there's links and stuff. I plug in my stuff so early, but it's because I'm finally remember to take pictures of this stuff and post it because that's the thing I could have done this whole time and just never did. But I took this picture right away because I was like, this is nice. I'm proud of myself. Uh, and though it's really not that complicated. <laughs> it's nothing like fancy. It's just, it's simple. It's good. This will, I would say one of these will last me. I can make this. Drink on it all night, but it didn't even last me for a two-hour movie, so I could still just mix another one. They're easy. Definitely would be great for camping. I haven't been camping in so long. It has been... Two, 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 two. When was the last time I went camping? Damn, hang on. It's been a while. 20... Uh, I'm trying back. It was back when I was doing my undergrad at some point. Oh, probably before, um, like about camp ever started. Yeah, it was some time. It was, it's been years. And I've wanted to, every time the new season of laid back camp comes out, I want to go camping again. I was literally watching, uh, an episode of laid back camp when some friends and roommates were like, oh yeah, we're going to go camping. And I'm literally just like basically pointing at the episode and like, the fuck you mean you're going camping and not invite me? It ended up raining on them, so I was fine. It, it didn't matter. Uh, but yeah, and now the third season of Layback Camp is out, and I decided, hey, um, I still need a movie for what, May, and I only just discovered, while looking for movies and seeing the third season start, that there was a uh, Lady Back Camp movie. I don't know what took me so long. It's been almost two years since it's been out. Disappointed in myself, but I guess it works out. Why did I start this podcast? Wait a minute. When did I start this? Has it been two, three years? Wait a minute. Hang on. This is going on to the third year. Dang, I started this podcast before the movie came out. Why did I never notice it? I don't know. I'm disappointed in myself, but mm, I don't know. It works out now. The timing is better. Maybe the, the timing will help people actually listen to this. If you are, thank you. Um, but yeah, I'm just, I'm, I'm just glad it, I finally saw it. The timing works out. I still really want to go camping now. I thought I was gonna go camping in the summer, but instead I just went on another vacation. Yeah. So now I'm trying to hurry up and get this out. Even though I had it all month now, it's the end of the month. Still gotta get this out. Um, but so yeah, that's the drink. I'm really proud of it. The forever laid back camp. Uh, really, I don't know what other drink I could even could have done. I could just drink a whole bottle of sake. I've done that plenty before. Plenty of Japanese beer. Do that all, plenty before. 
Uh, and <laughs> I guess I could have just done a whole bottle of just drink straight from a bottle of Japanese whiskey, but that doesn't seem completely right or accurate. Uh, especially with how expensive it is. So, this is the best I did, and it worked out. I'm glad. I can't think of... Uh, I'm not... Well, see, the characters are adults now in this, so I could make drinks based off each character. Only one, or I guess two characters, really drank in this film. The others may, I just don't notice. There's only two really obvious ones. Uh, so, I guess that... And they don't really make mixed drinks. So there's This is as mixed as it should be or should get. So I'm not even going to bother. And that's the drink. Now on to the movie. So, I already kind of said, like, I didn't know this movie even existed until third season came out. But it's been out on Crunchyroll for almost two years. Um, it came on Crunchyroll November 24th, 2022. It originally came out in Japan, first in Tokyo on June 19th, 2022. 22 and then um rest of japan july 1st 2022 and uh, i don't know how i missed it did they not ever do any advertising for it did i just miss it i don't know it doesn't i guess it doesn't matter anymore i've watched it now so yeah, it was directed by Yoshiaki Kyogaku, the screenplay by Jin Tanaka and Masumi Ito, with music by Akiyuki Tateyama from the production studio C Station. Of course, you could look all that stuff up yourself because it really doesn't mean much to me because I don't know who any of those people are. But in an effort to try to be more familiar with names, um, I tried. I, I, and if I share it with you, maybe it'll stick with me. That, that's my whole thought of it. Yeah, um, it's on Crunchyroll. You can go watch it there now. Probably a great time to do it or wait till the end of the season if you haven't started the series at all. Um, let me think. I mean, it takes place in the future when they're adults. So, it, you could watch it at any point. I guess you would want to watch at least the first season just to know what's going on. Maybe you won't need to know any of it at all. Or maybe you need to know some of the characters. No, nah, you could probably watch this without watching the series. Yeah, or just wait until the third season's over. Or just watch it when I don't know. Do what you want to do. Um, it's a two-hour long movie, so be prepared for that. And I love that. That was great, because I like long movies. And this definitely doesn't seem like the type of film that would need two hours. But here's the thing. I watched this two-hour film, then watched the newest episode right after. So I got even more laid-back camp with it. Um, yeah. And now I gotta make sure I don't mix up the episode of what happened in the film. Uh, it should be pretty easy. It was a... After how much I drank, being uh, kind of drunk, <laughs> it was a weird episode. I'm not, I know I'm not, spo I'm not meant to talk about the episode. It was a really weird episode to watch with all that. It was, it was just unusual, I guess. A lot of trippy kind of stuff. Because it was kind of an episode that was... A little out of the ordinary for what's usually going on. But I'm not talking about the episode. I'm talking about this movie. So. Mm, it's subbed on Crunchyroll. So that's good for me. Because I'm still not into dub that much for some stuff. Don't even know what the dub sounds like for this. I'll, I'm assuming they're just dub. Yeah. But yeah. That's a good movie. Uh, let's talk about it i already mentioned the alcohol uh, it was mostly uh, uh t -t -t chiaki and of course there's sensei yeah there's sensei sensei in the beginning for sure because it opens up when they're still like kids and oh so it starts with them as kids i mean you gotta remember their high school this kind of has like a Sort of chibi, like the series overall, they kind of look smaller, kind of chibi-esque, like somewhere in between, but then you like actually put them up against like other adults or in different situations, and the, what you gotta remember is uh, Japanese women, girls, because they are just, I mean, they're still children, they are just smaller, everyone gets used to like very physically 
uh, matured middle schoolers and they forget, like in real life, even adults are kind of on the smaller sides compared to like fat Americans. What you would normally see in like, I don't know, a uh, real in live action stuff, especially American stuff, real life Japan, they can be, they're kind of smaller, smaller sides. Uh, so you get used to seeing that and then you keep thinking, I always almost start thinking that they're younger or it's a different style and they're just like, oh no, they're just more kind of realistic looking, which <laughs> has been twisted from how people kind of normally see it. So then when they're adults, they don't look much different because they're already in high school, right? Yeah, they're already in high school. Some of them can already, are already driving like mopeds and stuff, scooters, whatever they're called. Yeah, so... There's only, I don't know how the age is or how long after or into the future it goes, but they pretty much all still look the same. So, yeah, maybe they're a little taller, but not enough to, for it to really matter. Who knows? They all look the same. But yeah, it starts with them camping on a riverbank. The, the main six, if you include the dog, plus their sensei, oh, there it is, Manami. Um, drinking right away. We get alcohol right out of the gate. It's great. They're watching fireworks, eating some wraps. I don't remember what kind of wraps they were. Uh, always remind me of years, but I don't think they were years. I think they were just some kind of wrap or whatever. And then they start talking about what it's going to be like when they're adults. And then opening sequence. There we go. And now everyone's adults. We open or go back to Ren starting it all off because... Well, no, Nadeska, Nadeska, yeah, it's supposed to be the main protagonist, right? I don't know. It focuses a lot on Rent, so I'm not exactly sure who's the main protagonist of the series. Maybe it's both of them. I don't know. But we go to Rent, adult working at a publishing company, and pushes for, like, to publish a tourist cafe guidebook. I don't know what kind of, huh publishing company is because it seems like they're the ones who write the stuff it's not like they're editorial or just helping publish stuff it seems like they also write the stuff i don't even know exactly what they do but yeah Rin wants to put together a tourist cafe guidebook which seems like a great idea i mean i think that'd be nice especially for tourists that's something i think tourists would love to have but internet exists so maybe not if they were online only, that would be a great thing they could do, but I don't know how theirs works. Then we cut to Nadesco. Uh, works at a camp store. Surprising to me, kind of, but also not really. If anything, I would... I don't, I don't know. Uh, Nadesco kind of seems ditzy a bit, so maybe not. But yeah, work at a camp store. A lot more experienced and knowledgeable stuff. You even see, like, helping other, like, newbies out, families, stuff like that. Then we have... Huh. Uh, kept back to uh, Chiaki. One, being a drinker, having lunch with a friend. I love the alcohol representation in this. Just drinking in general. And, of course, it was exactly Chiaki I would expect to grow up to be more into alcohol. Mainly because just so similar to their sensei so it makes sense i guess and but not the typical there's like a stereotype for japanese women drinking in anime which is usually very well physically endowed um but their personality is the same but Definitely on a different side. Uh, Chiaki not different, different uh, physical appearance than you would usually see from this kind of character trope. I don't remember how the, the sensei looked. I don't know. I like the sensei. I also like Chiaki. They're both kind of my favorite characters, anyways. And probably know why now. So yeah, they're having a camp, and apparently Chiaki. Uh, was that worked at some kind of event company but quit and now works for some kind of tourist organization and chiaki's newest uh endeavor project is they go to an old camp center which chiaki immediately passes out from being drunk but ren looks around and it's really not too bad they keep saying it looks run down and like dump and all that stuff but i've seen a lot worse this place still looks pretty decent um but yeah, 
This is Chiaki's next project. They're wanting to pretty much reopen it as a campgrounds. And apparently, at some point in that night, Chiaki drunk invited everyone else over. So, Nadesco shows up the next morning. They go eat at... Uh, who was it? Whose house was it? Was it Nadesco's or Ren's? One of theirs. One of their family's houses. And then Aoi shows up while they're all eating in silence. Kind of makes a comment on that. It's like, why you work? Uh, he's now an elementary school teacher. Uh, so, this must be quite a bit. I don't know how long it takes to get a teaching degree in Japan. Uh, I, uh, yeah, I don't know. It must say at some point how long it's been. Uh, nope. Just years later. So, let's see. In America, or the U.S., it takes at least four years. Usually longer, especially music. Um, and it's super fucking expensive for no reason. Um, uh, I don't remember what year in high school they are, so at least three years. I'll say that. Been teaching there for a bit. Uh, maybe four, four or five years it's been. Uh, I don't know. Yeah, always a school teacher. And let's see, who else? Oh. Um, and then Ana says was too busy with the pet groomer business, I guess, to come. But still wants to help with this. So, the five of them will eventually get together to rebuild the campsite. As volunteers, even though this is Chiaki's job, so I assume Chiaki gets paid for it. But the rest of them have to do it for free, even though they're already busy with their own lives. Uh, would I do that? I think I would still help. Yeah, I probably would. This this seems like a nice project, but it, it's a little shitty, and it's not brought up that this is Chiaki's actual job, getting paid for it, and everyone else uh, isn't. So whatever yeah but it does also give Rin something to write about it gets to go ahead it's like yeah this would be a good project I don't know exactly if there was a point to it but or if it was just like yeah just write about the whole process and of course there's a movie about it well you know a fictional movie so of course there must be plenty that Rin writes about uh what else happens and from here it's kind of just it goes on just them trying to get this camp back and they're not the smartest about it the smartest thing they do is asking for help asking locals about stuff they're very smart about the business sense of it until it comes to the physical labor Hang on, was there anything else before i jump oh so they get an office um, they're all about this. They're really, they each had their own positions. Uh, Ren's pretty much in charge, even though I feel like it should be Chiaki. Um, everyone else has some kind of role, you know, like marketing or public relations, other things, other jobs, and eh, whatever. Um, yeah, but they get an office that is just like their club room back in school and has a... <laughs> Jun Kimpon, a paper, rock, scissor, robot. That's all it seems like it can do. It's also remote controlled, so they can, like, make it go places and do stuff, but that mainly seems like the first purpose of it. So, they're putting plans together. First thing they knew, need to do is make it presentable, which means they need to do some landscaping. Ooh, and they do it in the... Slowest fucking way I could possibly imagine, which is by hand. Literally, <laughs> get a little hand scythe, go on and pulling up a handful of grass and cutting it like that. This is an entire campground with tiers of land that they're planning to do this with. Um, and then Ren, I think it was Ren, going around just cutting down like bushes and shrubs and stuff like a branch at a time I don't get that either and they have someone that comes and helps tell them how to do that part a little easier instead of just being like hey this is a stupid way to do this use actual equipment eventually they do they get better equipment that makes a lot more sense I don't I can't as a kid I would do this stuff just for whatever dumb reason they're adults now I don't know what landscape or yard work is like in Japan. I imagine most people have 
uh, smaller yards where maybe just going out and doing it by hand is either nice or traditional or all, all, it's all that necessary. Of course, you probably don't need equipment like that. So maybe that's why none of them are used to doing this because they never would. But why? I can't watch this part and just be as confused as I am as to how anyone could think this is going to be... <laughs> making sense how are you gonna get anything done and they seem to get a bit done in a day who but it's just it's nonsense it really is um so yeah <laughs> continuing on from that um yeah everyone it takes a little break from the camping stuff everyone but ren goes out for new year's with our sibling don't know the name Let's see. Akari, I guess. I don't know. And then their old sensei now, or previous sensei, still pretty much looks the same too. Seems a little bit more mature, really, of any of them. I don't know. So, go do New Year things. That's it. It was kind of a random thing to just throw in there. Not really sure why it was in there. Uh, trying to remember if anything significant really happened. There were some, like, hints dropped. Um, Minami was kind of just like, oh, yeah, you work at that elementary school to talk to him. He's like, are you ready for it's going to happen? I was like, oh, okay, this school's going to close. That, that was a pretty obvious foreshadow i guess and <clears throat> that's it i don't know i don't know the point of it just maybe a nice break just to show how life is going on but yeah ren didn't go just too busy and continuing on they have a timeline set for about half a year which seems like too soon but also maybe not i'm trying i'm never <laughs> trying to make an entire campground but it really doesn't seem like there's that much work to do. Really, spending the time to market or get the word out would take longer than everything else. Because eventually they do get the equipment. They finally use it. And progress moves right along. It's pretty great. Until they get another little pest problem that they're worried about. And this is where they they send the robot out to try to just see what it is eventually though it gets knocked over and it turns out it's just some raccoon dog some tanuki yeah that's it just little problems doesn't take too long just quick little things so things keep progressing i don't think i ever put it in my notes but there's um like a i think it was an old aviary thing that they're doing um and it looks really i don't know it's just like a shell metal shell now um, because birds would all uh, somehow got out at some point, yeah. But now they want to kind of make it like a pseudo observatory, just a nice place to go sleep under and look at stars. Yeah. But as things progress, they gotta have like a little test camp with the old pub, uh, Chikua. Um, and with nicer gear, thanks to Nadesco's store, renting it out. So, you see, not only do they mature, but all their experience and their equipment gets that nice little upgrade. And then, this is where the conflict, the real conflict, or a turning point of the film comes in, is that old pup Chikawa finds what could possibly be a piece of some kind of ancient pot or whatever, that... And this calls for an investigation team to come in and look at it, which was supposed to only take a couple weeks, but they find a lot and decide that there needs to be a museum, museum project that will go there instead. Uh, and then the school closes. So everything's kind of looking down for everyone. And we we'll out a job, gets another job somewhere else eventually. Um, oh, there's another foreshadowing because I was like, oh, I wonder if those wings on they're talking about a kids area in this campground oh that's another thing they were trying to think of like a theme or something for this campsite and they i don't remember what the theme was supposed to be 
just something for anyone. I think it was mainly, it seemed a lot more like it was meant to be for families and stuff. Which, uh, for Camp Graham, oh, the theme ended up being like, I don't know. I'll get to that in a bit. Right, let's get through, because then that's jumping to the end. Uh, ta -ta. So, their mu museum exhibit kind of thing is going to go there. Everyone's down. They spent some amount of time doing this, all really getting excited for it. Getting pretty close to being done. They thought they were ahead of schedule. And now, nothing. I, don't know. I guess Ren also loses that story. Everyone, I don't know. Nadesco seems fine. Uh, of course, you know, Chiaki loses that job too. Or no, it still has a job. Loses that project to do. I don't know. Anna seems same still a pet groomer but it seems like it kind of came at a i don't want to say a good time because everyone starts getting busy at this point too um, rent's taking on more work and, uh no guess goes just working and it seems to be busier always trying to find a new job or something Get already has a new job lined up who knows um yeah so time's just passing on and oh Oh, this fucking part. There's a part at this where Anna is just walking, taking Ch uh, Chikua for a walk. Because Chikua's old. I don't know how old, but you get to see it like compared to younger dogs. And Chikua's just taking her time. And then they stop and take sit and rest. And there's a long, a way long two fucking pause. Where I was like, don't tell me in this film they're going to kill a fucking dog or let a dog die. Because it was just so quiet for way too long. And it was already at this like kind of, like the turning point of the film and the sadder part where things are kind of going wrong. I thought they were going to kill a dog. I was like, no, there's no fucking way you can do this. You can't kill this dog. Uh. They don't. The, the, the Chico was fine. It was just so... They must have done that purpose. Just to troll because... That was an intense moment. That's probably the most intense part of the whole film. I was getting worked up just like waiting for something to happen. But I guess it's fine. Nothing, nothing else did happen, so... Especially after, you know, it was kind of Chico was fault that all this happened. But oh, I don't want to blame anyone. But, yeah. So now, they need a new plan. Uh, Chucky is thinking of something because they still want to do this. So, they want to work with the excavation team to make this something more interactive. Make it more know, archaeologically focused campsite. And it gets approved, actually. So, they have to redo some landscaping, get some old school stuff, and move it back to a fall opening and that's it everything worked out that was fine um yeah they finally get to open but they oh <laughs> so dumb. these these are such seemingly smart people but kind of just klutzy ditzy i don't know they sh i don't know how this this part doesn't make sense it's finally opening day oh and Apparently, they have people booked. They have a decent amount of people booked, including some families, uh, pretty much their families, and I guess some other randos know about it. Except for nobody knows how to get there, which makes no sense to me, because they somehow knew how to get there. Like, Chiaki had, like, an Uber or someone drive, drive them out to there, so there's an address, or at least... Someone knew it was a long job, so someone knew how to get there, okay. And uh, get Nadesco found how to get there. Um, uh, maybe somehow that next morning, way in the beginning, and I guess the others got there at some point. Of course, there's locals too. How did no one know how to get there? It makes no sense to me. They had to send Ren out to go and like meet up with people. Um, to help them find the way. Because they forgot to put signs up. But also. 
Do you really need them? I would say no, but I, on my vacation I was just on, I relied on signs a lot, which, um, helped out. It only hurt a little bit. Uh, it's, that makes some sense. How did any of them know how to get there in the first place? And now all these other people can't figure out how to get there? Not a single one of them. Nobody's there when they're, like, officially open. And at first they're, like, being more optimistic. I'm like, oh, okay, well, no, it's a campsite. It's still kind of early. Nobody needs to get here as soon as it opens. But, uh, signs. I guess signs are important. But uh, none of it makes sense. Whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, Rand goes out, meets them, they come. Everything seems fine. It is really interactive. They have a place where they can kind of dig or act like they're digging it's like it looks like if you just had a big sand pit like a i guess guess that's what they call it i don't know I, to me when i was little there's our park had this just <clears throat> a big sand pit that kids would just go into it had a little roof and everything and you could just dig in the sand there that's kind of what it looked like minus the sand it was just dirt i guess they could dig in that it had pretty much like playground equipment for kids um i don't even remember if they actually show what happened with the old aviary slash wannabe uh, observatory i don't remember what happened with that but yeah everything looked nice everything seems like it's going great and more drama drama wrapped up pretty quickly actually so yeah that's it um oh and then they're all Camping again, having a good time, and they have a drinking tent. That's the coolest part of it. You can put here, got a bomb drinking tent. Cool. This movie definitely had the most drink out of everything. It's great because oh, I want to go camping. Here's the problem though a lot of people I know don't want to camp camp anymore. Camp camp, that's a different show. Ooh, not anymore. Um, there's RV camping, which it's not camping. They go, they go in an RV. It's not camping. <laughs> I want to go out in a tent and camp. Because I camped a lot as a kid. I camped once so far as an adult. Right? Yeah. I just miss it. And the whole thinking you're camping because you're in an RV is bullshit. I'm not going to excuse any of that. Even if you went to a cabin. Like, sometimes there's like shared cabin. Not like a nice fancy cabin. If you have a literal one room wooden building with just beds in it i would consider that almost like camping kind of like it's still better because there's from the ones i have been in and seen there's nothing else in the bathroom everything else it's literally just a place to go sleep uh you still have to go build fire camp outside or cook outside all that stuff so i could consider that camping i've literally just went out and slept in the grass Overnight, I had a sleeping bag. Just went hiking with a group. Didn't even have a tent or any of that bullshit. So yeah, if you think you're camping because you're sleeping in an RV at like an RV camp, it's not. Stop being full of yourself. Oh, but then that makes me think. What if you're in your car? Because that one channel I talked about before. Um, usually. I would consider car camping camping because you have nothing else in a car. You can kind of cook out of it in it or whatever, but you have to do a lot of adjustments. So I would consider like a car or truck camping. But RV, no, that's bullshit. Shut the fuck up. Um, so yeah, that's it. <laughs> that's the movie. It kind of wraps up really quickly um, for a two-hour film, I, I would say. And now that I'm talking about it, there's really not that much that happens. It's just a nice, chill film. It goes, it kind of shows their lives as adults. Uh, this campground just really makes them want to go camping. Um, and then at the end, the roll credits just show even more of their lives. Moving on, what they're doing. Uh, can't think of anything specifically, but yeah, it's all nice. Uh, I, I, I enjoyed it, but... I don't want to go camping. Luckily, the third season's still gone, at least at the point of where I'm watching this. I don't remember what episode I watched. I think, though, I watched seven. I could check. I could check, but I'm not going to. But, oh. A lot of drinking. A lot of drinking um, in the film. A, a lot of drinking <laughs> for me. The Let me think. 
how big was that? This might be. No, yeah, this is definitely the most I drank. For one film? Mm. Plus the time it took to do the podcast. And at least still have some whiskey. But because what is this? A whole bottle of sake and then two beers. A couple shots of whiskey. I'm not knowing my drink yet though, so I can't talk too much. Talking makes it harder to drink as fast. So I still have plenty to drink. Uh, yeah, that's good. Um, so, yeah. That's, I guess that's all I really have to say. I'm trying to think of what else. Was there was anything else that happened in the movie? Oh, I talked, I mentioned who did the music. I don't really remember anything about the music. Um, I mean, the animation or anything, that's nice. It's typical of, like, the series. It just seems like a one really long, big episode. Maybe it could have been like a few episodes put together. That's what I'll say about this is it actually feels like a standalone film. <laughs> I already complain about how, one, anime films are usually too short. This is two hours long. Don't have that problem. Um, and also that a lot of them, especially now, they're trying to make arcs into films and just do away with that. Just like, um, uh, I mean, Quintessential Quintuplets did that. I think uh, Love is War also did that. It worked a lot better for Quintessential Quintuplets, kind of. That's because it seemed like it was going to be in. I think the series, there's more besides that. Uh, it was kind of, but like Demon Slayer did that with Mugen Train. It kind of works, but I like I don't know if this is in the manga. I don't know how long the manga actually is. If it's even still going or how long it is. Let's see. Layback Camp by Afro. Cool name. Um, Let's see. Is it still going? Yeah, it's still going. 16 volumes. Wow. Uh, so, yeah. I, I like the standalone of this. Uh, it, the manga never gets the future. I like it. A lot of people say bullshit stuff like movies aren't canon. Um, this will be canon to me no matter what. It's just nice to see. Nice to see something done differently. And just nicely. So it would just seem like a one really long episode. It could be broken down in episodes if you tried hard enough. It doesn't need to be. I said that about a lot of other stuff. Is all oh, this movie could just... I see exactly where the episodes would be. I don't really see it with this. But I think if you tried hard enough, you probably could do it. Uh, I just wouldn't. I'll leave it like this. I'm trying to... I don't... I, like, I complained and... I didn't complain, but... Just talked about how I, the New Year's part didn't make too much sense to me. Um, I, but would I cut it out? I don't know. I don't know if I will cut out any of this. Now, would I add anything? Hmm... Mm-hmm. I don't know. I feel like the end was somehow kind of rushed. But. Because I can't really remember any of it. But. I don't know. I've drank so much. Uh, I was kept, Maybe I would just. Uh, haven't paid that much attention. Who knows. Uh, I'm trying to see if. The, the, in my notes. If there was anything else that. Uh, I missed. And maybe talked about. Ch-ch-ch-ch. Nah, I think that's about it. A lot of characters I just kind of forget. Like always, sibling. Uh, trying to look up. Uh, oh! <coughs> Join. Oh! the. I guess it kind of matters. Uh, they do decide to all go camping on New Year's together again. So I guess that kind of matters as to why it's brought up. But... Also, I don't think it matters that much. Uh, oh, a really nice just throwback, even though I'm still watching. This, this definitely seems also like it should just came out when the series was over. Specifically for something like this, which is... Rin has like an actual motorcycle or some, you know, more adult kind of bike. But it breaks down or something happens to it. Where at the end... Ren has to use her old scooter. And so that was like, oh, they went back to this. But it's also like, oh, but 
I'm watching this current season, so it's not that special of a callback. Now, if the series would have been over and then they went back to this and be like, oh, yeah, okay, that's nice. That's a nice thing to just add back at the end of this. But like I said, third season's still going on. We're, we're still seeing that scooter now anyway, so maybe not that special. Um, but still a nice touch, regardless. I'm not going to shit on it too much. Uh uh ta, ta, ta. i guess that's it not don't really need a ramp on about too much else um yeah that's some film it was pretty simple not too much to it i probably could easily if i was just to talk about the main points i could easily do that in just a regular much shorter episode but this is the alcohol anime podcast so i want to make sure i talk about everything i liked about it because i had the time to do it but for a two-hour movie it does seem like there was kind of a lot of fluff but this isn't like it's a super story heavy film it's a get back have your giant glass giant ass glass of alcohol because everyone else in this is um and just chill feel the vibes enjoy it enjoy the experience and really just want to go camping. But that's it. Uh, so. That is going to be it. For this episode of Alcohol Anime. And me talking about laid back camp movie. Oh I do wish it kind of had a. More creative name. But I guess you really don't need it. It's straightforward. Oh I just saw something about marketing. Um, what does it say? Uh, they're really not too much about marketing. Uh, I don't know. Uh, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Oh, the Blu-ray Collector's Edition include a 100-page book and 120 minute behind the scenes. That might be interesting. I don't know what the behind the scenes would be. The, I do know there was, wasn't there like after the second season, a live action of the characters trying camping stuff? That's neat. That'd be nice too. It'd be nice to the behind the scenes and stuff like that. But uh, I'm getting distracted again. So that is it for this. Uh, let me know what you thought. If you watch this movie, if you think it's a chill too. If you're going to try my drink or if you do have a better fitting you know, camp drink. I guess something smoky would be nice. Now that I think about it, like something like a campfire. Uh, so that could that could be something. I don't know. Eh, I don't know anything that would be better than what I had. But yeah, if you have ideas, go ahead and tell me. I'll probably ask in a question or something on Spotify if that's where you're listening, or in comments, whatever. Um, yeah, but if you also just want to talk about whatever else that happened in this film. How you would (laughs) use your time better than trying to do everything literally a handful at a time when to clean this place up. That's ridiculous. I can't get over how dumb that is. Anyways, yeah, let's just talk more about it. Um, You can do that in the comments if you have them wherever you're listening to this. Or just find me on social media, The AC Stories. Uh, Links will be there. Uh, Email me, theacstories at gmail.com. Or I have a Discord. You can join that if you want. Uh, small little place to talk there. I also have a Kofi. I want to thank my Kofi subscriber, Julio Vasquez. If you also want to help, just support this a little bit in whatever way you can. You don't have to, but I appreciate it either way. The money uh, would go to making better productions. I would say it doesn't go to alcohol. Uh, I would say that. I'm just going to leave it at that. Because I don't want people to think I'm just spending money on alcohol that they uh, used to try to support me. But that is what this is. But I'm not saying I'm doing that. But yeah. If you, you liked what I had to say, go ahead and like this, heart this, favorite this. I, there's so many platforms. But do that. Subscribe, follow, whatever, if you want to keep up with it. Uh... Because that's also a thing people do. And then, rate it. That's... I guess a big part of it, algorithm stuff is important for podcasting, getting out there and succeeding, I guess. I don't know. I feel, I like what I'm doing. It doesn't matter how much it succeeds. Uh, But yeah, rate it. Honestly, just rate it whatever you want. People usually ask for five stars. Let's be real. This is me getting drunk, watching a movie and then talking about it for probably too long. So you rate it whatever you like. Uh, uh, I, I mean, I do like good ratings. So anyways, 
The most important part to me, though, aside from I just like it if people watch, is also people that go and spread the word. Tell others about it. Share it on your own social media. Um, if you are do that stuff. It's so wild to think anybody would recommend me because this is nonsense. But, hey, I appreciate if you do anyways. But, yeah, just get the word out there. I'm trying to build this. I'm trying to do other stuff. I did uh, some episodes of Bartender, like me as a bartender. You can check that out. Um, should be on this same feed. Do a few episodes of that, uh, mainly as a test run. Uh, I went not doing the whole season. So, that's it. That's I rambled on long enough. Um, I really like Layback Camp Movie. I hope you do too. It's chill. It's great. But that has been it for me in this episode of Alcohol Anime. I've been your Otaku Tainer, The AC Stories. Until next month, thank you so much and bye. <laughs>